Trades for Wednesday, Green Day. I uh, continue my scalping, although I didn't need to today. I probably could have made a lot more money if I didn't, but you never know with this market. So I had a bunch of order errors today, but I'll get to those later. Uh, still getting in late on a lot of them, chasing them down, taking immediate profit, and then taking secondary profit. Not sticking with them, got to work on that. Tried it again here, didn't go, closed it out. Tried it again here, didn't go, closed it out. And then, got so used to it not going. You know, I, I realized that I'm trading in the chop zone, this whole area here, which is why I'm doing that. If I, if I don't get the trades in the first 30 minutes, I'm in the chop zone. So I'm in the chop zone waiting for a breakdown. So I get so used to getting in, taking quick profit, getting out. I try to get in high on the flags, but I don't know, for some reason I end up getting in like way down here or whatever. So here's one here where I tried to get in. I even added right here and then ended up getting out. Didn't like what I see. And then a lot of times I, I gotta quit doing that, but then again, I don't need to quit doing that. I'm trading the spy. So in other words, I get in, I'll look over and I'll see the spy like shoot up with a big candle, whatever, and I'll go, damn it, and I'll just close it out, figuring this is gonna do it too, and it doesn't do it. So anyway, I got back in and scalped it all the way down. So this was my second biggest trade. So I got fooled on Campbell Soup. This was my biggest loser. And you know, I'm still undecided about this. It's, um, in this case, the VWAP was correct. If I would have had the VWAP on here, I would not have taken this trade. It was not on here because half the time it's correct, half the time it's three, four, five dollars off. I looked at it on Neo, it was literally four dollars off the mark. So, I don't know, I'm still struggling with that. But anyway, I would not have taken the trade. So, you see this wedge here? It broke down out of the wedge and I got in. It was a drop and pop. So I got in big. This was going to be my big trade. You can see it's only going to be 40 cents down here. So I took big share size and the damn thing popped up and then ran all day. Look at that. Just ran all freaking day. Look at that. Like $8. It didn't even break down until 2.30. I uh, ran five, six, three dollars. So that killed me. That was my biggest loser. The other thing that hurt me today was trying longs. I, I'm trying to improve my long trading. I'm trying to take more longs. Well, I can't do that. You can't just try to take longs. You gotta, tr I mean, you gotta take longs only on days when you should take longs. And I'm not doing that. Look, I, I shouldn't have taken any longs today. Although I think I had one or two that worked out. Look, I tried to long it here. I even added on this pullback. No, nope, failure. Okay, that didn't hurt. But then I, I said, damn it, now here it goes. So I longed it here and then it dumps off, it fails. It was just, just turned out to be a flag or small channel. You, you never know with this market. Look at this. And then I was just so happy to get back to even, I closed it out there and missed the big drop. So it messes with your head, it's what it does. Uh, tried it long again here too for the reversal over this deal. No, it was in the chop zone. I realized I was in the chop zone, closed it out, tried to short it right under there as a short, got a little bit of profit back. Tried to long it again, no, got a little profit. Decided I was, I was I'm in the chop zone, quit trading it. So that's what I did. So I waited on it and then later on, I shorted it. Look here, I shorted it twice, added on this candle here. And it was supposed to be up here, but I've been getting slippage. So I, it filled me right here around 31. I got some profit, 20 cents, and then added again and it popped up on me. Tried it again, now quit. I don't even know how this is a losing trade. I think I took too big a share size on this, on these longs here is what it is. It's the only thing I can think of. This is a my second biggest, it was this damn near big loser's Campbell Soup. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Look, here's another loser. 
half the size of the last one. I don't see how. Well, I see, I, I tried to long it here, and I said, no, this thing ain't going to go. I'm not falling for that. Closed it out, and look, made a nice trade here. I remember this. Closed it out, figures. Oh, no, no, I went long right here. This I closed this completely out. I had orders here, and it just filled them immediately. I didn't, I didn't even get the shares I wanted. That's what it was. I got like 25 or 50 shares or something right here. And it just, I just closed it out. Then I went long. No, I don't think it's going to go because my other ones fa are failing. Close it out, and this is the one that goes. If I wouldn't have closed it out, it would have tanked off like this, but whatever. So, this was a, a loser. Half as big as the other one. Trying to long it here now on the second cop, which it should go in the second cop. Should go even better than this. Deep pullback, halfway back. Off the VWAP, if that's correct. Should go, no. Fail, fail, fail. Short it. Nope, it ain't going either. Close it out. All right, I think it's going for sure this time. If it cracks under here, I'm shorting it. Bam, shorted it, shorted it again. Put profit all the way down. How was this a loser? It must have been later in the day. I think I kept trying longs. I was in the chop zone. Look, long, fail, short, get some of it back. And that was it, I left it long. I, I don't know, I don't see it. I doubled my share size from what I normally trade. This has only been like a week or two I've been doing this. I did add 50%, now I just doubled it. So, I don't know, maybe that's it. I don't know how it's a loser. And then you see something like this and it's a winner. It's gotta be my share size. BA, the thing about BA is, I don't know what causes it to act the way it does, but it drops either 50 cents or a dollar at a time. And there's no in between. I mean, it just goes. So you can't like click the button when you're ready to buy or anything. You've got to set your orders down there and let it drop into them and you never get filled. So I tried it short right here, decided it wasn't going to go, stop it out quickly. Because BA, it either goes or it don't. Then I shorted it here and I got it good. That is like, you see, 235. So that's like 50 center and like a 60, 70 center, if I remember right. Then I left it alone when I should have traded it, right out of this head and shoulders. Look at that. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Right there, look at that move. What is that? 35.50, oh God. $4. Got FOMO, tried it, no, but ain't going, closed it out. I think it's gonna break down, shorted, no, closed it out. And then just scalped it, and these are all like 50 cent moves, look. 240, 50, 240, boom. Dropped into it, boom, dropped into it. Scalped it like three times for $1.50. A lot easier just to take this move for $4. <laughs> A lot less work. Neo, my best trade of the day and my worst trade of the day. Best money maker, worst trade I hate. What I did. Um, long it right here, right over this cup. Got profit, great, because I expected this, but I expected it to curl back up. I expected a deep pullback. I didn't know how far. I, was thinking it would only come around here, but if I wanted to come all the way to the double bottom, that's great. So, longed it here and took profit, shorted it right here for the deep pullback, but chickened out. There's one thing I hate. I just missed that move right there. A dollar. I missed a dollar right there. Let it cup, started to pop up, took it long, and it failed off. Closed it out. It ain't going. And I shorted it and closed it out again too soon. I think it was bouncing off this whole 50 cents is what it was right there. You can see I closed it out and I shorted it again right here and started bouncing off 43. So I closed it out. It's hard to see because, it, hold up, uh, it's still hard to see. You can't, I don't know how to spread out this chart up and down. But anyway, it was bouncing off whole numbers and coming back 50 cents to 70 cents. So that's why I was scalping it. Shorted, profit. I leave some on 
but it never seems to work out I and mean, I gotta quit doing that this is the one that I hate you can see I, sh I added like I don't know it looks like seven times okay I had an order problem here hold on look at these buttons so normally I just click in the chart and I set this up as simple as possible but I still keep screwing it up every now and then and you know at one point in here if I'm not in the shaded areas I can I can shift in anywhere in the shaded or non shaded but if I control I can only do it in the non shaded if I control in this area and click it's gonna fill the order instantly and I don't know I, I keep doing that I did that like five times today so that's part of what happened on one of these. I don't remember if it was here or up here or something. Instead of putting a stop like I wanted to or whatever I was trying to do, I hit control and it filled the order instantly and got me out. And then the other problem I had was <laughs> I added these buttons. Cause see, I just got this platform. So when I first got it, all I had was a close and a cancel all. So close the position in case I get in trouble and cancel all my open orders if I get too many orders on here I just want to cancel them and start over because I'm just clicking orders this thing's flying around and I'm putting buy and sell orders everywhere so I can just cancel them all and start over that was fine I never made a mistake with that then I added a buy market and sell market and that was okay never made a mistake but then now I added buy the ask and sell the bid and I've been making mistakes this is the one. That must be it right there. So it was dropping. And I must have had these orders set in there. But right in here, I think because of this, I was going to take some profit. So I started clicking the button to take profit and I was actually adding to the trade. And I'm like, oh no. I realized it right here and took profit. You can see it came right back to that level. That was a level. Look, right here, right here. It stalled on it, bounced up over it, and then luckily dropped back down. It, I got confused on the buttons because I, I don't even really look up at them. I just know where they're at. So I got to rename them or move them or something. So anyway, this is the one that killed me. I was loaded up with shares right here and closed it out and missed another dollar drop. Actually, that was 43 $1.50. $1.50 right there. And then I get pissed and I don't trade it for a while. I leave it alone. And then I go, damn, I should have traded it. Why? Just because I messed up, why did I leave it alone? Then I try to trade it too late and then it bounced. Listen, yesterday's close. I knew as soon as I got in this, I'm like, oh man, that was stupid. It's already bouncing around right here. And here's yesterday's close. It already bounced off at once. That's stupid. So I closed it out, went long took some profit, went long again, decided it wasn't going anywhere, closed it out. And to my surprise, it didn't go anywhere. It was weak. It was really weak. Shorted it. I don't know why I longed it here. It might have been a mistake. Closed it out. Oh, no, this was a close out from this short here. I tried to let it come back, but it, that was the other thing. It was weak, but it was popping up too far. I couldn't, I take, that has to do with my share size. Because I've doubled my share size, you know, when they start running up like this and I look down at my P&L and I'm like, damn, <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to close it out. If it keeps coming, I'm going to have to close it out. And I close it out and I go, I know it's going to reverse right now. And then it does. So that's what happened here. Reverse right off the 20. But see, I thought I was going to come up here. So that's another 30 cents. I wasn't willing to go for that, but it didn't. It stopped right there. It's like they wait for me to close it out. I swear, it seems like my little orders are the ones that's moving the thing around. So, sold it here and got it back anyway. But you can see, I mean, a lot of my orders, depending on how you trade, they just look freaking ridiculous, like how many orders I take. But this is why, look. I got it in here, well, it was supposed to be at 41, it's around a 90. And got it down here 50 cents I know it's gonna bounce off 50 cents so I take half my profit if it starts moving back at all over this candle I take another quarter if it moves over half of this candle up and looks like it's coming back I take the rest of it off that's it that's how I'm supposed to do it that's my trading plan and then look comes right back up and breaks the freaking wedge that's why I do that
Granted, if I could wait till it came way up here and comes down, yeah, but I'm not doing, I'm not letting the market get the upper hand. I'm not doing it. Especially if it breaks a, uh, a trend line. If it breaks a trend line, even drawn way up here at the tips, it's too late, man. So I would have stopped out here anyway. And then it would have came up here and dropped all the way back down. I'm not letting the market get the upper hand. It's free to trade. There's no cost to get in and out. It's the new style of trading. So why not get in and out when it's to your advantage? Death by a thousand cuts on these. I'm not playing their games. Now, when I get in at certain places, like I'm not supposed to be buying breakdowns, but I will if they look like they're gonna work sometimes. So look, I bought a breakdown here, planning for it to pop up to 42, because I know exactly what it's gonna do. Boom, got in. Actually, I got in here at 90 because I wasn't even sure it was going to come back to 42. A lot of times I get missed. They'll come right to my order and then turn around and dump. So I added to it here and then got profit down here, right where it started pinging. And inspected that it was probably going to bounce again. Look, it bounced here. Bounced here. Probably going to bounce again. But I did get it, look, all the way down here at 35 something. But then look what I should have. So what I'm supposed to be doing is after I get initial profit is leave this alone. But it's it's so hard because half the time, look, that's yesterday's close, that dotted line. That's why I took it there. Half the time will just bounce right up and I'll be like, why didn't I take that? I knew I should have taken that. Why didn't I take that? So you can't win. Either way, you're going to be disappointed. That's just the life of a trader. If I wouldn't have taken it here and it bounced up, I'd have been disappointed. If I take it here and it drops down, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The other thing I'm working on is, look at this big green candle here. Boom! Comes up. I'm working on buying up here. I can't make myself do it yet. Not on a candle like that. That's just suicide. But I need to be able to buy like on a candle like this, or at least try to get in. Because it was yesterday's close there, I didn't do it. I waited for it to come below and scalped it for another 30, 40 cents. Hoping for a bigger breakdown. Of course it didn't. Look, it came right back up and started chopping around. But you got to keep trying. That's the only way I can do it. Look, I had a good run here. I just didn't let it go. But I wouldn't have got that run if I wouldn't have kept trying. Look, these add up. Look, there's 25 cents, there's another 25 cents. Here's 50 cents down to here. And it's just, I screwed up on this one and it closed out, I don't remember what happened, but it closed out or I would have had a dollar there. But what I'm saying is, these ridiculous looking little scalps, they add up. I mean, there's a dollar right in here, a dollar's worth of trade. Without, with the thing out even dropping. Basically, I'm trading in a channel which is a trade that I have. It's supposed to be a bigger channel, but it should be at least a dollar. And then I can usually get 50 to 75 cents inside the channel. I short at the top, sell at the bottom, or vice versa, and just keep doing it over and over. When, when stuff's just chopping, I miss so much, like $3 on this thing. Oh, anyway, green day, whatever.